Hi everyone. So sometimes I end up in a scenario where um, the logging tool uh, has a lot of configurations and components and sometimes it, it, it even doesn't work correctly. So here I want to show you how you can quickly uh, come back to the default options. So here is how. So you launch the tool and you see in which folder it is now set up to, to put the logs and, and you you go to it. So it's here, right? And on this folder, you will have a state XML file. It's it's a it's a manifest that will show you how the tool is was set up the last time. And next time you open it, it will it will keep it the same the same way it was. So now you exit it. You you exit from the tool, and you come back to the previous previous one and you delete the all folder okay so when you launch the tool back you have now a clean default logging tool options so here are a few tricks as well so if we select a component to to log i normally select all flags all level and I select sequential 150 and why 150 it's because once you reach that amount of size of the log it's kind of hard to open uh, those files on um, a tool like notepad or uh, notepad plus plus so if you, you you put this amount most of those tools should be able to to open the log file quite easily okay so sometimes you want to uh, keep the, the the logging that you are doing um, for any reason and normally what I see most of the people doing is they change the folder log so let's say one 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 and they take the trace this is fine uh, but um, like I said, I, I saw a few scenario where, for any reason, the tool stopped logging correctly because maybe we are not tracking the logs on C Windows tracing, but in another folder that might have not all the permission we need. So my suggestion is instead of doing that, it's keep the default one. And once you, you have collected the logs, then you can create on the default folder another folder and you can pass you can copy past uh, the logging on those if you need to keep them